Now you're doing it, but you it's a push. <laughs> Okay, so the introduction that you just saw to the series will be the, the same introduction on each, uh, each of the episodes of the um, different aspects of Tai Chi. And the reason I say that is so that when you see the uh, introduction, I don't want you to think that you're watching the same video, so it will be a different video. I just wanted to include those images uh, to show that we are showing those different aspects of Tai Chi. So if you are a subscriber on the Green Dragon YouTube channel or the Green Dragon Facebook page, first of all, I want to thank you. And I wanted to uh, take this time to introduce this next series to you. So over the past, I would say, past month or so, uh, Stephen and I have been collecting videos uh, from my different classrooms and different practices. And the purpose was to show the the, as, as is, is named, the different aspects of Tai Chi. So many people have an obscure version of what Tai Chi is, and uh, really it's a broad range of things, uh, ranging from uh, physical exercise, uh, stretching, joint rotation, uh, all the way into uh, mental exercise, using your attention, using your yi, and uh, using your inner energy, known as chi, things like that. So within this series, I, uh, or we, attempt to do our best to expose uh, those different aspects to the world. And it's not necessarily that it is instructional video, but you can gain insights from it. Uh, uh, during each video, I've included different excerpts from Tai Chi classics, uh, little pieces of nuggets that may help you if you are a Tai Chi practitioner, will help you in your own training. And also, um, the things that we say and, and do in classroom, you may be able to take some of those things away from it. And forget about that hand training. after they block it. So, so after he blocks it, it's gone, right? Nope, it's not gone. It's right there. If you're already seasoned Tai Chi practitioner, uh, you may or may not gain from it, but we do try to include uh, nice imagery of Tai Chi, uh, good atmosphere, good practices. Uh, just, just showing the overall, um, the overall picture. So, so I've been doing uh, martial arts, you know, off and on over the last forty years. But uh, I got into Tai Chi about eight years ago, nine years ago, and it was to, the thought was to help save my body. You know, I, I tried some other things, and my my knees weren't cooperating. But the Tai Chi has helped me not only my balance and flexibility, but also to understand some of the other martial arts that I work with. Um, the principles, understanding the principles of Tai Chi or trying to understand them has helped me to understand body movement, um, rotation of the waist, what have you, and how do you get your energy uh, into your movements, your attack, your defenses, what have you. <laughs> One of the things I wanted to just comment on is uh, 
you have you have to keep playing with it. You have to keep working. Um, the thought of practice makes perfect uh, is not in the in the game. It's practice makes permanent. So looking at different ways of practicing the principles helps to embed them into my uh, activities. Basically, I hope that you enjoy the series, and I hope that you share this series. Share it. We want to uh, expose Tai Chi to the world for what it really is. You know, it's not just people in the parks uh, doing slow movement all the time. There's weapons. There's uh, camaraderie doing push hands. There's um, there's the martial side of it, which uh, of course any martial art has to be effective and Tai Chi as a martial art is not slow. You have to move at the speed of your opponent. So when you see that and you, you say, oh, that's not Tai Chi, they're you know, moving fast. Well, it is Tai Chi. So um, hopefully you enjoy the series. <laughs>